So uh, what we've been working on is some really uh, cool graphic stuff, uh, like I mentioned last week. Um, so I have this little demo um, that I want to show you guys. Um, and uh, it's about the whole notion of 3D without the z-axis. We don't need no stinking z-axis is basically what this is about. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, a, there's a lot of cool things you can do um, that that look 3D, but they don't really need to be 3D in the sense of in a in a in a full 3D environment. You know, you've got light set up, you've got a camera position, and if if you've ever played with like 3D Studio Max or Maya, it's it's really uh, you have to wrap your brain around finding in the interface. At least this is like when I played 10 years ago, you had to you had to figure out where the camera was, and sometimes it was hard to realize that. Oh, there's nothing on screen because the camera's pointing this weird direction, and all your geometry is all like behind the camera. And you're like, oh, I didn't even think about that. Um, so, and uh, from Star Trek II, we know that it's hard for people to think three dimensionally. That's why Khan lost um, the battle against Kirk because Spock pointed out to him, to date, uh, he has only been thinking two dimensionally. So, there you go. So, anyway, <laughs> uh, long with an intro. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what I'm going to show you, uh, hopefully you can see it. I know this frame rate might not be here, but we have fish swimming, and then hopefully you can see that, but um, I'll, I'll do it again. Do it again. It was a little fast. Um, yeah, it's a little fast, but here we've just got two two images that are flipping. So I took screenshots from the weather application, and I have, I have my traditional, and I injected into, into the traditional fishy sample. Um, but basically, um, if you noticed, um, the, the rectangles look like they're flipping, but in actuality, all I'm doing is um, I'm manipulating. What we've added is ability to, to distort the, the quads, essentially, the, the, to distort the corners of a rectangle um, image. Um, and uh, so there you go. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if Google's frame rate is going to make it look do it justice, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll try to see if I can get a, a real screen recording for you that you can insert. So. <laughs> Um, but the idea is that um, this was achieved with uh, two transition library calls. The same transition calls that everyone uses a lot for kind of basic tweening animation, um, keyframe animation today. Um, this was achieved using that same style of, uh, of coding. Um, and so the idea is that we're, we're adding properties that allow you to manipulate the x, y offsets of each corner of a, of a rectangle. So four different offsets, uh, or four different uh, corner offsets. Um, and, uh, and so if you look carefully, th this effect is actually really just um, a distortion of those of those of those corners. Um, and uh, so so there you go. That's that's pretty much the uh, the effect we're going for. So that that's the kind of uh, basic 3D kind of stuff that you don't really need full on 3D to do. Um, and uh, obviously we're looking at you know more fancy 3D or two and a half D effects. Um, uh, like you know, more more mesh style effects like page curls and more of a mesh effect. That's a, that's a different three D effect that we're also going to achieve. But this is this one in particular I think is pretty interesting because I think uh, there'll be a lot of I think things that people will be able to do uh, and people that they'll, they'll come up with. Um, I think it'll be pretty exciting. 